When we talk about depth of field, it's important that we talk about hyperfocal distance. Now, as we learned in previous lessons, depth of field is a range of focus within your frame. Anything in front of that range will be gradually out of focus, and anything beyond it will gradually be out of focus. However, there is a specific distance where the depth of field range is the largest it can possibly be, because the range goes to infinity. Everything behind the focus point, along with some in front, is all in focus. This is called hyperfocal distance. When you focus your lens to this distance, everything behind the subject will be in focus without having to focus the lens to infinity. Pretty cool, right? To understand the hyperfocal distance, we should first look at some normal depth of field situations. Let's say we're using a 50 millimeter lens with an f4 aperture, and our subject is 18 feet from the camera. With these settings, we have about a 10 foot range that is acceptably in focus. Anything outside this 10 foot range will be soft and we'd have to adjust or rack our focus for it to appear sharp. An important aspect of these settings is that the subject is not centered in the middle of that 10 foot depth of field. Instead, our talent is about a third of the way into this 10 foot range, so they have about three and a half feet in front and about six and a half feet behind them to move and still be in focus. So if our talent is swinging on a swing, they will be in focus more on the back half than on the front half of the swing. You'll hear that as a general rule of thumb, a subject has one third their distance from the camera in focus, as well as two thirds their distance behind. However, this rule only works in a narrow range of settings and really depends on the aperture and the subject's distance from the camera. This last example happens to have the camera settings to follow the rule, but let's see what happens as the distance between the camera and talent gets smaller. Mm -hmm. 